I've read this paper, but what did they actually do in the intervention? How am I meant to know how to use this intervention with my patients? What a waste. Publications about interventions make up a large proportion of the research that is published. Yet the quality of descriptions of interventions in publications is remarkably poor. Without a complete published description of an intervention, other researchers can't replicate or build on research findings, and for effective interventions, clinicians, patients and other decision makers are left unclear about how to reliably implement the intervention. The problem is widespread. A recent study of 137 non-drug interventions found that only 39% of interventions were described adequately in the primary paper or references, appendices or websites. And after contacting authors of the trials for additional information, this increased, but only to 59%. Most clinicians and researchers don't have time to contact authors for additional information, and even if they do, responses are often not helpful. The training materials from the trial are not online. We had no reason to do that. No. I am unable to find my old computer file. I'm afraid I no longer have access to these materials. Clearly, this problem needs some solutions. One part of the solution is to provide guidance about how to describe interventions. This is what Tidier is all about. Its objective is to improve the completeness of the reporting and ultimately the replicability of interventions. To develop Tidier, we followed a three-step process. We began by conducting a literature review and from this generated a list of 34 potential items. We then conducted a two-round modified Delphi consensus survey of people who represented a broad range of expertise and stakeholders. The Tidier team then met for a two-day consensus meeting in Oxford in March 2013. At this meeting, the results of the Delphi survey were presented and discussed, and the final checklist items and their wording were debated and decided. The information required by Tidier can be considered a bit like a recipe. To make a dish, you need a full list of the essential ingredients, directions for how to use them, and then often some additional information about variations or tips and tricks to make it all turn out okay. When developing Tidier, we are also guided by Kipling's six honest serving men, and the checklist follows this structure. The items on the Tidier checklist include the brief name, of the intervention, any rationale, theory or goal of the essential elements, details of what materials were used in the intervention and where they can be accessed, a description of each of the procedures, activities or processes, information about who provided the intervention and how and where it was provided. There are also items about when and how much of the intervention was provided, details about any planned tailoring of it any unforeseen modifications to the intervention, and the final two items are about the fidelity or how well the intervention was provided. Tidier is an extension of item 5 of the Consort 2010 statement. For authors of trials, we suggest when completing item 5 of the Consort checklist, insert refer to the Tidier checklist and provide it separately. Tidia is also an extension of item 11 of the Spirit 2013 statement. If Tidia is being used to report a trial, then we emphasise that our definition of intervention extends to describing the care received by the comparison or control groups in a study. These interventions are often poorly described and using the phrase usual care is not sufficient or a helpful description. Describing the care that each group received will usually mean providing a separate checklist for each group in the study. For some interventions, it won't be possible to include all the information details in the primary paper. It might need to be in other locations, such as online supplementary materials, a protocol, a website, or a combination of these. We encourage authors to think outside the box, consider the most useful way to share details of their intervention with readers. Because all of the information about an intervention may not be in the primary paper, the Tidier checklist also encourages authors to state where they have provided this information. Tidier is provided as a guide to intervention reporting for authors, reviewers and editors. 
We encourage journals to endorse the use of the Tidier checklist by modifying their author instructions and including a link to the checklist on their website. Tidier, aiming to make research about interventions more usable. What a waste. Ah, that's such a clear description of the intervention. And there are links provided to all the materials. I have all I need to be able to use this intervention with my patients. Thanks Tidia.